gonna be delicious. All right, guys, first time Cottondale hunting. It's gonna be a blast. So I'm gonna get ready to go, get the old, go, strap the old GoPro on, see if we can get on some rabbits, take them home and eat them, do a shoot, clean cook, or catch and cook, or however you wanna call it. Yeah. Freaking can't see him in this tall crap. Oh my gosh, I can't hit him. Got him on that one. <laughs> cool guys. <laughs> oh, I couldn't hit him, man. Thick, so thick. Tough, tough shooting him, man. Wow. Just kept shooting right behind him. Finally. Finally got one, boys. Ah. Oh, yeah. Nice little bunny right there, guys. Sweet. Come on, Frank, got one. Only took me 25 shots, but I got him. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, there's a beautiful bunny right there. Freaking could not hit him. I kept just, it's so thick, all I could just see him just going through the bushes and it was just hard to predict where he was gonna end up. So I just started just shooting. I finally got him to stop. <laughs> but anyway, bunny down, beautiful. We're gonna take it back and make a bunny stew. We're gonna try to kill a couple more just to make it worth our time. But anyway, hopefully I can get better at shooting them. I haven't hunted rabbits all year, so I got some making up to do for sure. Right here, mm -hmm. a little bit. Got my little carrier right here. She's carrying my bunny for me. Okay. I think bunnies are cute. They're cute, huh? And they're also good to eat, huh? I hate bunnies to eat. You hate bunnies to eat? Mm-hmm. We're going to change that. <laughs> Let's get on some more, boys. All right, guys, God, hard to find around here. Hundreds of jackrabbits, but not a lot of cottontails. They must not have had a good year, or maybe I'm just not in the right spots. Gotta be around here somewhere. Might be just a little early still. Might need to cool off just a little bit more. We need some snow. Once we get some snow, they're a lot easier to find. 
they can't run in that deep snow as good, so they kind of stay put on you. These things are so wild, they're out running all over the place before you even get to them. A lot of people hunting them. Let's see if we can't get one more. One more would be swell. Man, the sagebrush is thick. The sagebrush is thick. God, there's a cottontail, I wouldn't even see him. You can see jackrabbits just fine, they're big enough. These dang cottontails, you just can't see them very well. The only thing you can see is their little white tail. Oh man, this might be all we get tonight, boys. Ah, I got him, boys. Woohoo! Nice. We got ourselves a bunny. Got ourselves a bunny. Awesome, boys. Sweet. Killer. Awesome. Another juicy bunny going in the bag. Cottontail stew. Okay guys, got our two bunnies right here. It's all we could come up with was two, man. They, we hunted, I hunted my butt off for these two. So so we're gonna take these back and make some rabbit stew. It's gonna be delicious. First time ever making rabbit stew, so it'll be good. But anyway, we're gonna get these clean. I'm not gonna show the gutting on this one because the last rabbit hunting video I made, it got demonetized. So I don't wanna get this video demonetized, so I'm not gonna show it. But I will show the rest of the cooking on it, but I just won't show the cleaning because I just don't want to get this demonetized. If you want to see that video, it'll be right up here in the corner. But anyway, yeah, delicious. All right, guys. So got the. All right, so got everything prepped right here. Got our good old rabbit meat, cut it up. Then we just got some celery, cilantro, carrots, chopped garlic, and some cut up potatoes, along with some diced up onions, and some good old mushrooms. So that's our ingredients. Rabbit stew coming at you. We're gonna get this rabbit season. We're gonna get the water on the pot, get it hot, and then we're gonna start the stew. It's gonna be good, can't wait. Okay, so, got it to a boil. I just put some chicken broth in there. So first off, we're gonna put our potatoes in. Stuff that cooks a little, and takes a little longer to cook. And then our carrots. And then our celery. Give that a quick stir and then we'll let that cook for a little bit and then we'll start adding more stuff to it. And then the last thing we're gonna put is our meat because I don't think that rabbit will take very long. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I also added some Cajun, black pepper, and some salt just to give it some spice and some cayenne pepper just to get this some flavor. So kind of, Give that a good stir. I'm just seasoning to taste, so I'm just gonna taste it and then I'm just gonna add it. So if you guys do this, just do it to your own taste and that way everybody's happy. At least you're happy when you eat it. <laughs> but anyway, it's a cooking. And now it's time to add our garlic. Just Chopped it right in two, just putting her in just like that, just for flavor, that's all it is. So anyway, about 20 more, 30 more minutes, we'll put, this, put the rest of the stuff in. So it's gonna be good, woo! All right, so now it is time for our mushrooms. Added the mushrooms, now it's time for the onions. Oh yeah. Gonna be delicious. Cannot wait guys, it's gonna be good. And we're gonna let that cook for another 10 minutes and then it's time for the rabbit. 
Okay, guys, it is time for our rabbit. Put that in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be delicious. Give that a nice good stir. And now we're gonna cook that for about 20 minutes and see what it does on high heat. And it should be all ready to go. All right, we only got a few more minutes left till it's done. We're gonna put our cilantro in. And that's gonna give her the last good kick that we need. Gonna be hella good, guys, hella good. Booyah. It's gonna be good. Do a little test here. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect. It's ready. So we're just gonna take it off the heat, just kinda let it soak up that flavor for about another 10 minutes. And it's time to get down and dirty and start eating, man. It's gonna be delicious. Love me some cottontail. Okay, guys. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Mm -mm. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get some more goods in there. Yeah, something like that. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. We'll get a a big spoon and get some juice in there too while we're at it. Oh yeah, perfect guys, perfect. This is gonna be good. Ah, oh, smells amazing, man. Whew, it's going to be good. Can't wait to try it. Here we go, guys, right here. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Good stuff right there, boys. Wow. Right there is some good soup, guys. Whew, whew. Damn good. Mm. Good stew. A little spicy, though. <laughs> That Cajun is some powerful stuff, man. But, oh man, good old rabbit leg. Mm. Got tear into it, man. Being an animal. Mm. Nothing better than cooking your own game, man. Going out and hunting it and cooking it yourself. Nothing better. Nothing better. Here's a good old back strap right there. Those back straps are the best. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. This good old perfect meat, man. Mm, good stuff, good stuff. Woo! Pretty proud of that. First time ever making stew with a rabbit, so I'm pretty proud of that. So you guys hang tight for a minute while I finish eating my meal, because I worked my butt off for it. So I got to replenish all that stuff I put into it. But that is freaking good. Mm, 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 mm. Good stuff. Absolutely delicious. I can't wait to finish all that. I'm gonna eat that here in a second. So I'm gonna end this video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button so you don't miss any catching cooks because we're doing a whole bunch of them this this winter. I'm gonna do a lot of hunting and we're gonna we're really gonna open her up. So I'm gonna eat a lot of weird stuff. So stay tuned for it all, guys. Love y'all. Peace.